Hey y'all, what's up? It's Meezy, and yes, I am back once again. Same day, three videos. I know, you're welcome. Uh, today's video is the last installment of the 2020 WWDC series. Um, so if you haven't seen the video about the iPad OS and iOS and watch OS and AirPod OS, those two videos will be linked, um, and make sure you watch those. Um, and so now in this one, we're going to talk about Mac OS, which I just felt like needed its own video. You know, we got to give it its own props and I won't lie to you. I got a little bit of beef with Mac OS. So make sure you subscribe, like the video, cause we already know you're going to love it and, uh, share it and let's just get into it. Alright, so let me tell you what my beef with the whole Big Sur update is. I just feel like they're really trying to turn this into an iPad. And I have a little bit of a theory about this, but we'll get into that later. Let's just talk about some of the new features. So the first reason why I say I feel like they're trying to turn Mac OS into an iPad, or maybe vice versa, is that the icons have all been changed. So this is this update is a huge UI change, actually so much so that it is 11.0. Yes, we have moved away from the 10 dot whatevers and we are now on 11. Um, so it's a huge UI update. All the icons are different. I'll be honest, I didn't notice too much of like the little tiny icons, but you cannot help but to miss the actual application icons. They are now all squares, just like you would see on an iPad or an iPhone. And maybe they wanted to make it a little more seamless, but now it just feels like, why do I have all these things? And it's not that I didn't feel that before, but now it's really hitting me. Like, why do I have an iPhone, an iPad, and a MacBook? Like, do I need all three? And to me, the icons, they look a little childish. Like, remember, was it from 11 to 12 that we felt like the iPhone started to look like a toy? Because um, I feel like that's the same thing that's happening to Mac OS. So, I'm a little sad, but I think eventually I'll like it. But I just kind of like the personality that all the separate apps have. Um, they even got rid of the little rocket for the app launcher, and now it's just like a little tray of apps icons i don't like that i like the little rocket it had it has some charisma it has some spunk it was different it was unnecessary like i i actually never understood why it was a rocket well i get it right a rocket launches but anyways i, I still like that better than the little tray but r.i.p but yes that the that ui change is giving me big ipad vibes and now even the files app is kind of matching what the ipad files app looks like so here's my guess my guess is i have two guesses but this is my big one that i thought of while i was like writing the script for this video i think that we are going to get a touch screen mac very very soon now let me tell you why else i feel that way because they changed up the notification center in big sur and it looks very reminiscent of the ipad notification center but also, also, it has like those slide bars that you will only use with a finger. You know, they're, they're not very mouse specific. It's just not something, a UI that you would pair with a mouse experience. And so it just really seems like we are either about to get a touchscreen Mac or the iPad Pro is really about to become like another computer in the lineup. So if either one of those two things happens, just know you heard it here first. I'm a genius. Um, Apple put me on the payroll. All right. So the other really, oh, oh, and also widgets will be available um, just as the same as iPad and, I, and uh, iPhone. Another reason why I feel like this is very iPad, like you'll be able to run apps, regular iPhone apps on your Mac. Like, what are we doing? Where's the, where's the distinction? Why am I spending, you know, like, what's the point? Because at this part, at this point, I feel like you would really only need a phone and an iPad. But then, is an iPad really even cheaper than a laptop? Not really. You could get a Mac. It's a lot. And so, I guess, at the end of the day, it will just come down to aesthetics. But we will see in the fall once we get some hardware updates. But yeah, I just... 
it's looking very iPad-ish in here. Okay, so a big update coming to Mac OS is Safari. We got a big Safari overhaul. They're trying to catch up with the other girls, okay? Now you can customize your homepage. Uh, they'll have extensions. If they already exist, I don't think they already exist. It sounded like that they did. If they did exist, I didn't know. But now you can have extensions in Safari. Extensions just make your browser experience richer and easier. Um, and I'm very excited for that. I'm glad they're bringing Safari into 2020. A big theme of the entire, um, like, the entire presentation was security and safety and privacy. So they're also adding like tracking so you know which websites are tracking you at what times and how much and just letting you know all those things. Will you be able to stop it? I don't know. So if I can't stop this website from tracking me, don't even tell me that it's tracking me. Ignorance is bliss, you know? You'll also be able to trans translate words in line of course translate words what else do you translate but translate web pages in line just like you can in chrome um and you'll also be able to save passwords in safari and i didn't realize that wasn't a thing i guess they all get saved to keychain i just don't use safari a lot i 100 percent use chrome sometimes if i'm feeling spicy i'll use safari if i'm like testing something i'm developing i'll check it out in safari but i don't just use safari as my main browser and the the last kind of safari update they say that safari is 50 percent faster than the other girls now but girl i'm mostly referring to is chrome because you know i i think that she does win the browser race um i got high hopes for them we gonna see because i don't and, and the other thing is are we do we care about speed over familiarity right and is 50 percent faster true what is the truth i just don't believe it i don't um and under what circumstances is it 50 percent? i need more info on the 50 percent faster and i still don't know if i'll care like i don't know chrome has been with me for a long time why should i switch Whew, okay okay so the last really big update that we got about the mac was the rumor that everybody was waiting to see was true which is that mac is gonna start using their own silicon what is the difference between silicon and silicone actually i'm gonna look that word so we'll just see what the arm chips have to 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 bring to the table i'm not really a hardware girl hardware hardware girl so i don't really have much to say about it um i mean it is what it is to me don't get me wrong i know the difference between processes and blah 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 but if I've never used it, I don't have a huge opinion on it. So we'll see what happens when we get them. Um, yeah, sorry I don't have more to say about that. I know everybody was super excited, but I was literally just like, are we done with this yet? So yeah, that is everything that is coming. Everything that I thought was important that is coming to the Mac in the fall. You can download the beta now at your own risk. If you read the little thing, it says at your own risk. I don't even know if Apple Care will hold you down if something goes wrong. So you might just want to wait a little until the next version of iOS 14 is out. Um, if you do download it, let me know. How's it working out? I'll let you know if I download it. I'll upload some videos if I start to test it out. But yeah, that is that on that. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.